Hey guys, this is Confistunator, back again doing another LEGO Star Wars review. Today we are going to be taking a look at the V-Wing Starfighter. This set is uh, set number 6205. It was released in 2006 and has 118 pieces and appears in Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. So this is a pretty nice set. It's, it's a bit old and it cost $10 when it first came out. And I personally really like it, so yeah, I'm gonna get onto the minifigures now. You get this really nice clone pilot, old version from uh, from Revenge from Revenge of the Sith. Really nice. Got the uh, black part, black uh, straps on the back of his torso, along with the breathing apparatus here as he's piloting the V-wing. And it's the helmet with some nice designs on it. We have the two Republic insignias on the left and right side of the helmet. A painted black fin. And some lines on the side. And yeah, so pretty nice minifigure. And a little dot right here. So that's pretty cool. And of course he does come with a standard black head. And that is what he looks like. His helmet. So that's pretty cool. And the viewing, this is a really nice set. I, I remember getting this a long time ago, and I haven't taken it apart. It's still really nice. And if any of you guys are wondering about me doing a review on the Imperial viewing, the one in 2011, I will not be getting that set because this set and that one are way too similar. And so I, I don't think I'll be getting that one. So now on to the set. Um... As you can see here, the most uh, noticeable feature is that it, it is in the red and sort of grayish Republic colors. And, yeah, so pretty cool. On the side here, we have these cannons. Yeah, um, swiveling laser cannons. Which is really nice. And then these wings up here, these fold up. And this goes like that. These are basically shields right here for the astromech droid. This is the Q7 astromech droid. And it is only his head, not the body. So, wait, where did he go? Okay. Let me find his face. Okay, there he is. He looks just like R4P17, but he's a Q7 series astromech droid. So, that's really nice. And he acts as co-pilot. Co Please excuse the dust, because this has been sitting on my shelf for a while. Um, yeah, and, and these are the shields that I think protect the astromech droid, like that. They slant downwards, and so it kind of provides protection. And right here we have the... And it also provides to keep the cockpit secure, this cockpit um, windshield. And it's nothing new, just a standard glass. In the interior here, we have very little room, just room enough to fit the clone pilot, and no control panel, it's just this white grill here. So I will put the clone pilot in there right now, and show you what he looks like with inside the viewing. Okay, so there he is inside, fits nice and snug. And this cockpit windshield just closes right back on there. And I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video, this is a requested review from Black Dragon. And I'll have his um, link to his channel in the description box down below. So please check him out. He's pretty cool. And yeah, these things fold down again. Some more turrets on this side. The back side here, we have a nice printed... Republic uh, logo or insignia. Here we have the uh, translucent lime green engines, which look really nice with the red and gray color scheme. And yeah, the difference between this one and the new V Wing is that the new one ha is a bit longer and just a couple more pieces bigger, but it's $10 more. So I think this is probably a little better. Wait. Okay, so as you can see here, the bottom wings also deploy out downwards so that it's actually in real flight mode, like that. 
So that looks really nice and just flies around doing space battle. So really nice and one oh, of the engines just came out. And then they just fold down like that. Um, by the way, the main feature uh, that the new one has that this one doesn't is that the wings can um, can swivel downward so that they're in landing position or in flight mode. This one doesn't have that. It's just kind of like that, which is all right. I actually prefer this one a bit better, but new one, of course, has a little more playability to it, as long as along with the R2Q2 Asterix droid, which has the full body, not just the head. But yeah, if I were to rate this, I'd give it a good 9.5 out of 10. It's a really nice set, I must say. And if you can still pick it up on either Bricklink or eBay today, I suggest you do that. Because it's really nice and it'll look great in your Clone Army and Republic Collection. So that's just about it for this set. And one more look at the bottom. These two little cliff pieces is what keep it standing like that. Whereas the new one just has a... Uh, clear, what's it called, it's kind of like a cylinder sort of thing, that makes it look like it's hovering, but this is still pretty cool, so, yeah, that's about it, and, again, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and, yeah, until next time, this has been Confissionator, signing out, see you later.